Welcome to another episode of Elixir Talks. In the previous discussion, we identified the various types of lots found in real estate. We will take our discussion further today and discuss other dynamics we should consider in selecting a lot. Lot outlook is the orientation and topography of the lot and how it presents itself when you approach the property. We will discuss various elements that you should be mindful to make a very informed decision on your purchase. The orientation or direction of the lot has a direct bearing on the natural light flowing into the property. The east and west facing homes which have relatively more natural light flowing into the property this is because windows are generally more towards the front and rear of the property, which translates to more sunlight. There are some cultural preferences as well. If one is going as per Feng Shui or Vastu Shastra, as per Asian and South Asian traditions. For example, in Vastu Shastra, the home facing preference is North, Northeast or East facing. As per Feng Shui, the most auspicious direction is South facing. Orientation of homes is a very subjective thing and changes from family to family. There are internal roads and then there are busy arterial roads where transit is available. The thoroughfare is more and the traffic is constantly moving. It is wise to avoid lots on a busy thoroughfare as it would always be a botheration to drive the car in and out of the driveway. Also the traffic would come with some noise once doors are opened, apart from the fact that the front yard will not be very private for such lots. There is another safety factor for families with young kids, as the busy area makes it less safe for small kids to play outside. The ideal scenario is that the lot is on an internal road with a short walk so that you can come to the arterial road or collector road when required for transit purposes. You still have access to the transit. However, you are avoiding the traffic and noise which comes with that. These are the lots which are facing the T-junction. The general perception is that the oncoming traffic is not considered a good thing for overall safety. The headlights of the oncoming traffic would impact the usability of the living room in the front of the property. It again would be a subjective thing as it also means that it would have a view of clear sky and the approach would be open in front of such lots, which might be a good thing for a consumer if they prefer so. Interior lots are the most regular lots in real estate and these are the lots with houses built on either side and most of the times on the rear as well, unless it is a premium ravine backing and featuring lot. For the most part in real estate, you will find these interior lots. Corner lots are wider than the regular interior lots. This is because extra curve in the lot adds to the frontage of the same. The corner lot homes will have more windows as it is open from two sides minimum. And due to extra windows, it will have more light in the house. This also means that heating and cooling costs would be relatively more in a corner lot home due to these extra windows. With the latest triple pane energy efficient windows, this might be less of an issue. Corner lots offer extra yard space on the side, so they would require more maintenance than regular lots. It would really work well for you if you are into landscaping and maintaining flower beds etc. Builders mostly charge a premium for the corner lot due to the wider size of the lot and extra space which you get in front and the back. Conventionally, corner lots are considered not that great for residential real estate, mainly because it hampers privacy from two sides, especially if the lot is located on a busier corner. On the other hand, in a regular lot, it is only exposed from the front, making it more private. In commercial real estate, on the contrary, the corner lot is considered a sure positive, as it provides 
exposure and marketing opportunities to the business from two sides the lots which are featuring ravine green space a creek in the back or ponds in the back etc are called ravine lots and are for the most part considered premium lots the builders would charge an extra premium for such lots as they are very quiet offer nature views and are private in the back in addition in homes built on such lots you can afford to leave the blinds open at night when lights are on which would not be the case with homes back into other houses and the reason these lots attract a premium generally the ravine featuring lots are built on a grade or a slope which also creates an opportunity for constructing a walkout basement or a lookout basement making them more usable for an end consumer because of the extra light in the basement park fronting or backing lots would be traditionally considered good due to the maintained park by the municipality in the front or back of the home which provides clear nature views however some extra noise would also be a downside during the summer months everything has an upside and a downside this one again is very subjective and changes from person to person what they value and like most it's a very personal choice curly sack lots curly sack is a french term that means bottom of the sack you can visualize it as a dead end street with a semi circular end allowing you to turn back the significant advantage of living in a curly sack is that it has a minimal traffic only people who are living there or visitors will come to this area this makes it congestion free and improves safety appeal for families with young kids the downside of such lots is that the town for snow cleaning etc would first focus on regular fair roads to relax the traffic and then towards the last they would come to curly sacks for cleanups key lots are the first internal lot to the reverse of a rear corner lot such key lots will have multiple lot backyards exposed to them on one side because of the multiple rear yards facing one side of the key lot its privacy is not at the best however just because they are in a critical position down the line they can be a good asset as a developer would need a key lot to make a more oversized lot for a development such residential lots backing or fronting onto a commercial plaza should be avoided it would be again based on what kind of retail business is on the plaza and what is the traffic in the plaza if the plaza is with restaurants grocery store or high traffic activities for the most part these lots should be avoided and the fundamental you should hold on is for buying a property you should try to have similar properties around so if you are purchasing a residential dwelling your best bet is to have residential around thanks for watching if you like this episode do like and subscribe for more such content and share with your friends or colleagues looking to purchase real estate and may find this helpful stay motivated and i will see you soon